There's only one word you can use to describe this, Dale. Yes, really cool. That's two words, Dale, but thanks for playing. Score one for the spongy guy. Well, Dale, looks like the new competitor's lost his license already. Hello, is this thing on? Hello? Thanks for the feedback, Dale. So our youngest competitor's ready for his first real challenge, Dale. Should be interesting, Rick. Interesting. Like grappling with an angry octopus, Dale. Starfish versus Sponge, a true battle of the undersea type. A true battle indeed, Rick. It's the truest of true. Best friends battling to see who's the best. Score one for the spongy guy. Score one for the spongy guy. Smashing a competitor's car, Dale. Is that against the rules? There aren't any rules, Rick. Reminds me of my first marriage, Dale. <laughs> Plankton's known to be a tough competitor, Dale. Absolutely, Rick. Better keep our eyes on this race. I never get distracted, Dale. Hey, Pebble. A sponge, a starfish, and a plankton. Who could ask for more than that? I certainly couldn't, Rick. It's a classic lineup for a race. Score one for the spongy guy. Score one for the spongy guy. He seems to be collecting turbos. Could be tricky. Especially since the great turbo drought of 04, Rick. Those were the days. <laughs> Gary, eh? Things are really heating up now, Dale. That's why I'm wearing my fireproof underpants, Rick. See? I really didn't need to see that. Is that a snail out there? Yes, Rick, it is. Or perhaps someone cleverly disguised as a snail. This is an amazing game we're having here today, Dale, with the Bikini Bottom Particles about to win their first game ever. The only thing that could ruin it for them would be if the game was somehow disrupted by a chase involving a giant food stuff. Yes, and what are the chances? Would you look at that? And yes, I'm just getting confirmation, Rick. The Barnacles have lost, and that continues their 76-year losing streak. You join us at the Mind-Bending Carnival Raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. You certainly don't see that every day. Not unless you live here, which you don't. Well, Dale, you can see that SpongeBob is really going for it in this race. He certainly is, Rick. And that's because he knows that the prize for winning is this wondrous patty trophy. And not only that, Dale, the only way this guy is gonna wake from his dream is by his victory on the track. That sure is a tough break, Rick. We have a letter here from an S Tentacles. He asked, what's the strangest race you ever watch? I'd say without a shadow of a doubt, it might be this one. Well, I can't disagree with you there. Hey, Dale, you think that SpongeBob could pull it off again? I think that Sponge can do anything, Rick. He's a modern-day superstar. I have another letter from a Mr. E. Krabs, and he asks, Where's me fry cook? Ha ha ha, that's a very good question. A very good question indeed. You join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. You certainly don't see that every day. Not unless you live here, which you don't. And look at the young competitor Patrick Star go! And where do you think he gets that name? I give up. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. This is simply the most extraordinary race I have ever watched. You think he knows what's at stake, Dale? If there's one thing I know, it's that I know that he knows what's at stake. And what is at stake, Dale? I don't know! Well, let me tell you, the Patty Trophy is just the beginning. The real prize is escaping from this bad dream, and that's a prize that money can't buy. Can you believe that? If I hadn't just seen it through my own antennae, I don't think I would have believed it. You join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. You certainly don't see that every day. Not unless you live here, which you don't. What are your hopes for the plankton on the hovercraft? Same as ever, Rick. I have no idea. For a plankton, he isn't half committed to his cause. For a plankton, he's a very competitive guy. Have you seen the length he'll go to get his hands on a Krabby Patty? Good point, Dale. 
And this Patty trophy is even more valuable than that, because winning it is the only way he'll wake up. No way! Yes way. This is simply the most extraordinary race I have ever watched. We have a letter here from an S Tentacles. He asks, what's the strangest race you ever watched? I'd say without a shadow of a doubt, it might be this one. Well, I can't disagree with you there.